Today I have another album review for you. The name of the band is Fall of Serenity, and the name of the album is Open Wide O oh Hell. The album was released on Life Force Records on March 22, 2024. So as always, I will give you a little history of the band, and I will talk about the album, the songs, my final thoughts, and I'll give a score at the end. Uh, so let's get into this. I kind of discovered this band by chance, and now usually over the weekends I have an idea of what I want to review. I usually go with the bigger bands or bands that I know very well or that I have a history with, whether they are rock or metal. But if not, I check the different websites to see what's coming out. I usually use the Metal Storm website, but for some reason uh, their site was down on Thursday and Friday. So I went to the Metal Archives website and I just picked the first two bands that appeared on the list. The first one was Leaves Eyes, and that one I already re reviewed. And the second one uh, was this band. So I decided to listen to them, and I was pleasantly surprised. I kind of like this. This band is listed as melodic death metal according to the Metal Archives website, but in my opinion, I think they have a lot of black metal elements to their sound. The sound is definitely very evil sounding. Uh, they are a German band. They formed in 1998, but they were active a few years before that under a different name called Contrition. The band has been uh, active for most of this time, but they took a break between 2009 and 2010, but otherwise they have been pretty active. They have five full-length albums. Let me talk about this album called Open Wide, Oh Hell. The album has 12 tracks. It's about 41 minutes long. There are two short instrumentals, which are just called one and two, and most of the songs are around four minutes long. I read some of the lyrics. They're not very easy to interpret, but they are very dark. Uh, for example, the song Darkness I Command speaks about the wrath of God and waiting for salvation. There's a music video on this, and it kind of explains in more detail. I'll get into that later. The song, uh, I Don't Expect I Shall Return, is about death and what happens after death, or at least that's my interpretation. And the song Chaos Rain, kind of like a science fiction mixed with Bible stories type of theme. They mention both the cosmos and Eden. Again, these lyrics are not very easy to interpret. The opening track is called Thy Pathway, uh, and to me it sounds like black metal. It's just mayhem and madness, fast tremolo picking and blast beats. I would say the vocals were more on the death metal side, and there were parts uh, where they played some isolated guitar riffs. The song has some peaks and valleys. They do this by isolating some of the guitar parts, and they have the drumming uh, slow down. This creates some interesting rhythms. There's part in the song with a soft atmospheric transition, and this helps distinguish where the first song ends and the next one begins. The song is called Darkness I Command, and this one starts off with a very hard driving rhythm and I think this one sounded a little closer to death metal. I also heard some melodic death metal elements in some of the lead guitar playing. I found the vocals in this one to be a lot more old school death metal uh, sounding with more of a low guttural type of tone. I also heard some elements of hardcore in the sound. I think um, the, the way they were playing the guitar chords made me think of that and about halfway through the song they slowed down the pace a little bit and incorporated some of those melodic leads. Then towards the end of the song, they start to bring in some more melody. The song has a music video, and if you watch it all the way through, it helps you understand what the song is about. It shows a guy, he has some people over, they're talking, they're having a good time. Then they leave, and he gets into the bathtub, and you see what he experiences, some type of anguish. And at the end of the video, he takes a knife, and all you see is blood. So at the end of the video, they say if you're suffering from mental health issues, Please get help. So that kind of clears up the meaning of the song where they say, uh, don't let the darkness take you over. The next song is called, I Don't Expect I Shall Return. This one had more of a black metal sound to it. The first few seconds of the song were kind of slow, very dark, yet melodic. But once the song took off, it had those typical black metal elements, had tremolo picking, had blast beats. The second half of the song had more of those melodic death metal elements. I also found it interesting that they had some different vocal layers towards the end of the song, which mixed the typical death metal vocals with some lower, more evil-sounding vocals in the background. The next one was called Wasteland, and this one continued with the black metal guitar playing, but the drumming was at a more respectable pace, something more along the lines of a 
traditional like 4-4 time signature. I like the solo on the song. It seems they were going for more of a traditional heavy metal guitar solo with a very dark and heavy black metal rhythm section. Now we're on track five of the album. They give you kind of a break with the first of the two instrumentals. It's only one minute and 15 seconds long. It's called I or One. It's just very soft, atmospheric, and it has this spacey sound. It almost makes you feel like you're floating through the universe, so I thought that was pretty cool. The next song is called Chaos Rain, and this one is the first song on side two of the album. This one sounded a lot more like old-school death metal, but with that being said, I also heard elements of what they had been doing so far on the album with little bits of black metal and some melodic death metal elements. As far as the vocals are concerned, I heard mostly uh, deep, heavy, guttural, death metal style vocals. Now, if you thought they didn't mix enough genres, uh, they throw another curveball with a winter song. And the intro to the song sounds like heavy metal. It sounds like something that could have been on a typical Saxon album. But like always, this band likes to mix it up as they go through the song. So the song continues with some death metal and some black metal elements. The song also has some peaks and valleys because they add in sections where they slow it down and they get very atmospheric and you can hear the bass guitar play some of those bass licks. So I thought that was pretty cool. It was called To Tear the Flesh. This one also has some traditional heavy metal sounds. They start the song with some of a thick bass guitar intro. The song has a lot of what I have been saying so far throughout this video, a mixture of death metal vocals, some black metal guitar riffs, and some melody. Next is uh, But Grim Will Follow. This is the penultimate song, barring the next short instrumental. This one is much like the rest of the songs. It has heavier elements and has some more atmospheric sections. This is a pretty good song. It does not stray from the overall sound of the album. Now the next instrumental is called Two. It's just 22 seconds long. It sounds like some type of monster is about to destroy a city or something like that. But then on to the next song, and we now get to the last song, and it's called... I am the end. This was a little different. The song moved at a mid pace. The guitar tone reminded me of some of that like first wave black metal like Venom or Celtic Frost. And the vocals were a little different. They had more of a shouty style. They also incorporate different vocal styles. For example, some higher fry vocals and the lower death metal vocals. The guitar riff sounded a bit more like old school death metal. The song also had some cool isolated bass guitar parts. The last part of the song had some melodic leads, which is in line with the melodic death metal label they were given, although I don't think they fall under that label. I'll talk more about that later. And now for my final thoughts. I guess you can call this band an underground band because they only have 114 subscribers on YouTube. I listened to this on YouTube Music, and most of the songs had under 50 plays. Even on Spotify, they're a little bit more popular, but... They only have about 2,063 monthly listeners, which means that they are an up-and-coming band. So I'm kind of glad I reviewed this. I didn't see any other metal channels review this so far, but maybe they will. My impression of this is that they blend a lot of different genres, but every song sounds like it belongs on this album. What I'm trying to say is that you can find elements of black metal, death metal, and mellow death at pretty much every song. So while there was a variety throughout the album, the album sounded uh, very unified. So for that reason, I think it's a pretty good album. For now, I'll give this a 7 out of 10. It could go up by the end of the month. I think it's kind of a, or the kind of thing I need to spend more time with. But I think it's pretty good. Let me know if you know this band, if you have listened to them before. Do you know their other albums and what would you call them? Do you call them Mellow Death or... What do you think they are? So I don't think they fall exactly into one category. It's just how I heard them. So uh, let me know. That is all. Check out the other review I did this weekend called Leaves Eyes. Stick that right there. They are a symphonic metal band. Uh, thanks for watching. Please like this video. It helps me with the YouTube algorithm. Please subscribe if you're not already. I do rock and metal reviews, rankings, and more. And um, I will see you in the next one.